Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Sunday, November 3rd, around 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. We're keeping a close eye on potential tropical cyclone 18 should develop in the next 24 hours and make its way into the Gulf of Mexico. Keep calm. It's boom time. Significant damage was found after at least three tornadoes hit Oklahoma overnight. And this is the scene of the activity from yesterday. Absolutely devastating. Huge swaths of devastation. Yeah, and if you follow us over on X at Diamond the Dave, you could be getting these updates all day long. Absolutely tragic. This is the town of Hara, Oklahoma, where many homes were completely destroyed. Now, amazingly enough, I don't think there was any loss of life, just six injured as of now. That may change, but absolutely just a tragic reminder for those who live in Tornado Alley. Oh dear. Now let's talk about po potential tropical cyclone 18. The disturbance is expected to become a tropical storm Monday and pass near Jamaica on Monday night and Tuesday where a tropical storm warning is now in effect. The system is forecast to become a hurricane by Tuesday night and there is a risk of dangerous impacts from hurricane force winds and storm surge in the Cayman Islands and portions of Cuba. The current spaghetti models were just updated and most of them are lining up to make landfall in Louisiana. So prepare. That is many days out here and we can quickly check that on the GFS model. So the GFS model here has the storm coming across Cuba here on Wednesday, November 6th in just three days. In four days, it would be offshore of Florida and unfortunately near landfall of some of the devastating tornadoes or I mean hurricanes that we've already had this year. So hopefully that is not in the cards. Uh, but all the models show this rapidly decreasing in strength as it makes landfall. So that's good news. There's also lots of snow in the forecast. So let's take a quick look at the total snowfall on the GFS model here and move it through. Monday by Tuesday morning, some heavy snow here in the Four Corners region as well as the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. Wednesday, there's more snow down the Rocky Mountains into Thursday and Friday. Heavy snow for the Four Corners region, especially Colorado, New Mexico, and the Eastern Plains there. Look at that snow pile up. Could be up to three feet, according to these models. Move it through. It's looking like quite a winter wonderland in November. Earthquake swarm detected around an underwater volcano near Hawaii. This is in, uh, coming from Honolulu. Honolulu. Uh, seismologists believe a recent uptick in earthquake activity off the coast of the Big Island is likely associated with the movement of magma beneath an underwater volcano. But even if an eruption were imminent, it would not lead to major impacts for the archipelago, which is good news. The USGS says it has detected dozens of quakes around Kama, Ehu Kana Aloha, with at least two measuring four magnitude or greater. And you can see those quakes right here. And they are offshore of the big island there. We also had an interesting rumbler in just south of New Madrid. And this one coming in at 3.7 there in Missouri. So things are getting spicy across the globe. Worldwide Volcano News, we've got some spicy volcanoes for the day, too. Seven Kaya, 21,000 feet, Ducono to nine. Semaru, who knew? Volcanic ash emissions reported. Popo also puffing, Ibu to 7,000. Canalan to 9,000 foot. Naya Muragira, 
ongoing feeble eruption continuing there. Sangay to 21. Raventador, 14,000 foot, 5 blast. Sabancaya to 24. Santa Guito to 14. Ducono to 9. And Liwa Tobe, Laki Laki, a 40,000 foot blast. Ash up to 40,000 feet. A major eruption took place at Liwa Tobe, Laki Laki volcano in Indonesia on Sunday. November 3rd, producing an ash column 40,000 feet above sea level. The aviation color code was risen to red. Unofficial reports indicate damage from lapilli shattering car windows and a house fire ignited after being struck by a lava bomb. According to the Center for Volcanology and Geologic Disaster Mitigation, the first eruption took place at 1657 UTC and was recorded on a seismograph with a maximum amplitude of 47.3 millimeters. So this was a big eruption. The seismograph data indicating such a high amplitude and prolonged duration reflect a significant release of volcanic energy. Uh, the second eruption, there was a one-two punch uh, so there you go. There is Liwa Tobilaki to 40,000 feet. Semaru on the list. Fuego to 15. Ibu to 7,000. Canelon, 9,000 foot blast there. Popo to 22,000 foot. Semaru to 15,000 foot. And Liwa Tobi, discrete volcanic ash to 40,000 feet. Ongoing volcanic ash to 28,000. And that wraps up quite the day for Worldwide Volcanoes. A quick look over at space weather. Not much going on on the sun. There are multiple sunspots earth-facing, just not a lot of flaring. Potential for flares is high, over 50% for X-flares, but nothing happening. As the geomagnetic fields are slightly unstable due to the BZ here pushing south over the last couple of hours. You can see here a jump in the density as well. Uh, overall, quite quiet as far as the geomagnetic field and aurora potential. Now, who would have thunk it? Mars declared unsafe for humans to live, as scientists explain why it never work. Well, it's the cosmic rays, my friends. It is just not possible. More fear porn. Doomsday Antarctic glacier melting faster than expected, fueling calls for geoengineering. Yeah. They're going to put a curtain on it. U.S. Egyptian archaeological team uncovers a 4,000-year-old tomb near Luxor with jewelry and other artifacts. That looks like it maybe once was a mirror, but absolutely fascinating find here. And it, it's hard to understand how they're still uncovering things like this in plain sight. And guys, if you didn't know, we've got new merch in the Oppenheimer Ranch merch shop. Check out the link below. We've got the new theme magnetic excursion ongoing. And on the back, it says Oppenheimer Ranch Project. We got Shut Up Al, Get In Your Hole, Al Gore in a Glacier, mugs, shirts, hoodies, and more, including the new ORP logo in all types of colors and shapes. And on the back says, Shut Up Al, Get In Your Hole. So go get it. Support the channel. And... Wear it with pride. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share the video. As I said, we're shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do for as little as a buck a month. You can watch all of our podcasts commercial free in one place. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. And check out our Rumble channel. There is lots of good stuff to watch over there. Be safe. We love you. Nene.